Hello friends, welcome to Shabla's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna make turnip sabzi. It's also called shalgam ki sabzi. Very delicious. Many of us didn't like it from childhood. But the way I'm gonna tell you, try out that way. You're gonna love this sabzi. So let's get started and I'll show you the ingredients real quick. Here we go with the ingredients. Here I have shalgam. It's called turnip too. So I'm using five of these for, uh, roughly chopped. Then I have one big sized onion finely chopped. Around one cup of tomato puree I'm using. So I'm using crushed tomatoes which we get from any superstore. So I'm using that. If you don't have it, that's okay. You can use normal tomatoes. Use around three tomatoes, normal medium sized tomatoes. Oil for cooking. Then I have around one tablespoon of minced garlic. One teaspoon of ginger paste some cumin seeds, some cilantro in my spices I need some salt according to your taste some red chili powder, some garam masala and some turmeric powder so let's get started so in my pressure cooker I have already put around 2 tablespoon of oil in it so here goes cumin seeds let it splutter then we are gonna add ginger garlic to it so here goes garlic ginger just give it a stir give it like one minute so that the raw flavor from it goes away so here goes onion so whenever you are cooking turnip or shalgam make it make sure to use a lot of masala that is made out of this onion and tomato then only you'll get that real taste Otherwise, it, it's really a boring dish, I would say. But if you do use a lot of tomatoes and onions to it, it really go, gives a good flavor to the dish. So I'll give it like another five minutes to, to let it brown. And then we are going to add spices to it. So my onions are almost done over here. It took me around five minutes to cook this. So I'm just going to add some spices. Here goes some salt, around a teaspoon of salt, red chili powder, I'm just using a pinch. You can add green chilies, red chilies according to your taste. Here goes turmeric powder, around a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and some garam masala. Around a teaspoon of garam masala I'm adding in it. So just mix everything well here. Now I'm gonna add puree, that is tomato, crushed tomatoes to it and I'll let it cook for 15 minutes so until the time it leave oil from the sides so tomatoes are cooking for 15 minutes now so I'm just gonna add some little drops of water and let it cook for another 10 minutes so that it leave oil from the side so it, it's gonna take around 20 to 25 minutes to get this tomatoes cooked so here we go with the water And we are gonna check back after 10 minutes. So my tomatoes are almost cooked now. Now here I'm gonna add the turnip shalga. We are just gonna add some water, not much water to it. And we will just pressure cook this with the two whistles and we are we'll be done. Here goes around a cup of water. So I'm just gonna cover the pressure cooker, the lid and we will just put it on a medium to high heat and pressure cook this with two whistles. So here is my shalgam, shalgam turnip whatever you want to call ready. So I just gave it like two whistles and see how it looks like at and at the end my mom like to add some sugar to it just half teaspoon of sugar because it adds a flavor to the dish now what we are gonna do is we are just gonna mash this with our spatula if you like it bite size you can just keep it that the way but I like it somewhat mashy so that's the reason I am just mashing this with the spatula look at the color so this is the texture we are looking for and here our shalgam is ready. 
So it's really simple, very easy and delicious too. So try out this recipe, leave me comments, leave me suggestions. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe on our channel for more innovative, authentic and yummy recipes we have. Thank you so much for watching and you can have this with roti. See the steam coming out. It's a time for dinner. So I'm just we are just going to have dinner. You guys too have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye.